This your man, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T, with the sit-down interview at Studio Plug Memphis. Let's get it. Bitch, I'm on the grind. I'm, the I'm grind. rolling through the city, windows tinted, but don't ask me if it's mine if don't I'm in it. Cause don't bitch, I'm on the grind. Hey, what's up, world? This your guy, Track Addict, with Studio Plug Memphis. And we back with another sit-down with my guy, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. Yeah, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. Shout out to Mr. G-Y-N-T, man. He been coming through the studio for a minute, putting in that work. So, man, tell us about your name. Why that name, Mr. G-Y-N-T? Man, so, uh, <clears throat> I think I was about 16, 17. Kind of came up with that. I was like, get on youngsters. We was in the hood, of course, you know, but we was kids. I was like, that got a nice little ring to it. Ghetto Youngsters. Cool. But it was get like Ghetto Youngsters Posse or something like that. But I took it over. I was like, nah, we're going to put this as entertainment. Because we do it all, man. We do it all. So that's why Ghetto Youngsters Entertainment. Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. All right, check it, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. Before we get into the interview, man, I'd like to ask my guest one thing. Mm. Tell me where you would like to go and then clap three times. We're going to take you there. Japan. Damn. Damn. Man, we teleported to Japan, bro. We here. Damn. You asked him to share it for C. Man. Okay. So let's get back into it, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T, man. Glad to have you with the Studio Plug Memphis, man. So, hey, we got into the name. Tell me, how long have you been doing music? Uh, pretty much since I was like 16, maybe. Yeah, about 16, 17. When I got into it, I got serious about it probably maybe 20, 21. Okay, what made you want to do music? In my blood, man. It's like I could keep a rhythm. I can put words together and just... Okay, okay. <laughs> Is there anybody in your, uh, in, your, in your family tree that did music before you? Or are you the first one? No, um... Now, don't stamp me on this, but this is rumors I heard through the years, through, like, some of the family reunions we went through, but... Um... Chingy, I think maybe we some kind of Chingy, Snoop, Get jiggy with uh, Lil Richard, who else? Okay, okay. Bobby Rush. Um. So it's it's in the blood for real. Right, right, right. So 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 I don't stem me on this, but you know, that's what I heard from certain family members. Like you know, these people were family. So. So man, you started doing the music at sixteen. At what point? Did you decide you wanted to turn it and pursue a music career out of it? Um, I say around 19 or 20 because it was like hustle grind mode where you had to get out there on them corners and mm -hmm. hit them them corner stores and you know walk that block and hey we you know so back then it was like it was in me but. I didn't really get serious, just knock it out the park to like maybe like a year ago. So, you know, hey, I'm gonna consider last year my beginning. We're gonna do that. I've been watching you. You've been doing a lot of shows. Yeah. You're doing things different. You're dropping video after video. Yeah. Quality studio plug Memphis video. Uh, of course. I of must course. say, you know what I'm saying? But like, you've been out here working, staying Ooh. humble, grinding. So I'm just I'm just curious, like what was it? Was it anything that you remember like that just made that light switch happen? Be like, man, I'm really fitting pursue and go hard at this craft. Alright, so I got some friends or whatever, and you know, they doing their thing and like they dropping mad videos, like and I'm sitting up here like, dude, they've been dropping videos for like years. I haven't dropped one video. So I'm like it's time for me to go ahead and drop a video, have something online, something that I can say, hey, look what I did when I was around this age or whatever, whatever. But I felt like, hey, 
I got to do something. I got to leave my imprint somewhere. And why not the music? Because, hey, it's fun and I like to do it. Dope, dope, man. So, hey, what would you call your music style? Man, I don't have a style, but I would say classify me on the ride music. Riding. I'ma get you there. Drop top. I'ma sun, my, sun come out. on, come on. I'ma get you there. Put me in, you're gonna be like, whoa, I'm going to hunt it. Slow I down. <clears throat> I agree, man. Is there any artist out there you would compare yourself to? Man. I I, I can't say really. Honestly, I can't say. But um a lot of people compare me to a lot of different artists. They say I sound like this or I sound like that, you know. So, hey, gotcha. I leave it up to y'all. How about that? Tell me who I sound like because I don't got a style. I'm killing every beat and I ain't coming the same. So. Gags. Gotcha. So what are some of your favorite artists that you listen to? Man, okay. So uh, I'm still old school, man. I know I'm looking, but hey, I'm, I'm still on Play or Fly moving on. Don't I'm play. talking about I'm on I'm on I'm on Project Pat Get It Green. Don't play. You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm still on that. That's what oh, yes. that was my soundtrack when I was in high school. Yeah. Miss Cargo, she doing her thing. Yeah. She queen of all trades. Like hands down singing. Man, she do it all. Shout out to Cargo. Shout out, shout out, baby. And we and I got a feature. And I got a feature. Come on with it. Shoot. It's coming soon. Work with me, you hear me? Shout Let's get it. Doing a thing, man. Shout out to Cargo. If you could pick one person to work with the music, who would you pick and why? Oh man. Ooh, you hit me with a gut punch. Okay. Okay. Man. See, I, I wasn't even ready for that. Hold on, let me think. Cause there's so many. I'ma say, I man, I I I got to work with Project Pat. Project Pat. I man. have to work with Project Pat. Pat, you ever see this? I need 16. I need 16. What, what is it about Project Pat to make you put him first? This guy has a style no one can copy. Nobody can pull this off but him. Yeah. And it sounds good. Mm -hmm. He was like so different. Right. But he hit you with the truth. It was like, ooh. Hey, and I'm gonna tell you something too, see, you know, he can the Juicy J, right? So I'm thinking, if you listen to Project Pat Beats on his albums, it seem, they seem like they hard, the hardest beats they ever made. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, he That's got, what he I'm got saying. The best beats, bro, that, that 3 6 made. And he never wasted them. Right, right, yeah, yeah, he definitely <sighs> unique. He definitely unique. So, yeah, I, I definitely would love to work with that guy, man. For real, for real. And that's real. why it's really good. I just want to say, that's why it's really good just to be yourself. Because just imagine... Right! Just imagine when he came out, if 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 it was people in his ear telling him, like, bro, you might not want to come like that. Like, that's... that's exactly, no exactly. Rapping, like They'd have robbed me like, of what, that. What if he <laughs> not did that? Because he would have been worried about what people... They're going to say, say, right. You know what I'm saying? Like... Hey, hey, look, at some point in your life... We all gonna have to get over there. It was a point where I was like that. Yeah. You know, so I, I get it. But man, look, do you and watch what happens. All right, give me another one. Who, who else would you like to work with? Man, let's go with Eminem. Eminem. Like, come on, man. You gonna, you gonna be able to keep up with Eminem now? Hey, 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 look, check this out. Now you hard and all, but Eminem. Hey, you said work with. <laughs> I ain't say compete with. <laughs> There you go. You know, but you know, hey, I'm I'm, I'm coming with with a thousand. Let's go though. I believe. It, I believe Let's it. go though. I believe it. You go match you know, energy definitely. Oh, come on. I got to. Sure. I got to. I got to. This man, this guy, he did his thing. So, I'm hey, salute him. Yeah, I love a 16. So, let me ask you this. What do you think of when you think of Memphis music? Oh, man. Joking. Flowing, man, flicking, you know, beating on that table with that pencil, like, mm -hmm. dude, like all this in there. It's just, you know, they jazzed it up a little bit now, but at the root of that, man, you can hear it. You can hear it. So, yeah, 
Yeah, Memphis, Memphis music is on right now. Yes, we on right now. What do you think about the current state of Memphis and how we're impacting the culture? Are we up next? You know, it's our time to shine. Everything coming out of Memphis, go. We up now. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, catch that way. Catch that way. Like, get in where you fit in. Put out your best material, because Memphis, the eyes on Memphis. So, right, right. Shine. Let's go, Memphis. Like, the more of us, you know, come up out of here, the more of us we can bring up out of here. Right. So, you as an artist, like, where does your creativity come from when you when you develop a new song? Like, where do you normally pull your creativity from, or what makes you decide how to come on a song? Life, man. Um, the beat has to, like, the first 10 seconds, I gotta be like, ooh, and then my emotions get in it. Once your emotions get into something, you feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. You just write it down. However you feel. Try to make it, you know what I'm talking about? Move forward as best you can, but get a point across and just try to say something. You know what I mean? That's kind of the process I take. It's like, how do I feel right now? How does this beat make me feel? Do I feel sad? Do I feel happy? Do I want to make them groove? Do I want to make them bob their head? What I want to do? What's the flow? You know what I mean? So once you figure that out, I'm off to the races. And then you get what you get. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Memphis 10, the so re-up. So you're not <laughs> just particularly trying to make all party songs or nothing like that. You nah, kind of, nah. You, you letting the beat talk to you. Yeah. And kind of deciding how to go based off how you feel when listening to the song. To the yeah. Beat. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, because I don't have a style. It's easy to do that when you got a style because you know how you coming. You just got to figure out what you want to say. I don't got no style. Give me the beat. Once I get in that beat, I'm in there. Like swimwear. And, and, hey, it's all to the races, man. Sure, sure. So, um, do you got any current videos out? How many videos you got out? You know, tell people about some of your music videos and uh, where they can check them out at. Uh, yeah, I got two videos out. Uh, shot by yours truly. You know, um... The first video I ever shot, Memphis 10, you can go check that out on YouTube at Mr. G-Y-E-N-T, that's M-R-G-Y-E-N-T, go check that out, um, and also on all platforms, uh, Facebook, of course, no, um, my life, my life, my life was a movie. My life was a movie. I remember coming into this very building and sat here and talked to you for about an hour about my life, how we was going to put it together and everything. Yeah. And unbeknownst to us, that video went number one on Brink TV Countdown. For how many weeks? That jump was on there for some weeks, Eight wasn't it? weeks. Hey, that was it got retired at number two. That was the longest run video I ever seen. Come on, years. man. Our hard work paid off. Shout out to Young Brink. Man, what? Shout out Brinks, man. Hey, I'm coming to see you, man. We got something to talk about, man. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, yeah. And it got retired by Mr. Rich Dollars at dope. number two. Dope, dope, man. So y'all definitely go check out the music videos on YouTube. You know, also, like you saying, his music is on all platforms, you know, Apple Music and all that, right? Yeah, all that, man. You We're know, streaming everywhere, man. You can even uh, find his music when you're making your videos. So if you're making your reels, you need some music to, to put in your reels. Yeah, yeah. Type his name in and watch his music pop up. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm like, yeah, yeah. So y'all definitely go eat that up, you know. Um, is there any local artists out here? that you've been watching and you would love to work with other than the people you already named? Man, baby OG. Man, what it do, homie? Baby OG. Yeah, we got a collab, man. Um, man, we got Easy, Big Swavo, you know what I'm talking about? Shout out, homies. We about to collab, too, uh, you know. Um, man, who else we looking at out here? 
let me ask you this. If any artists out there, they down to collab with you, they want to work with you, you know what I'm saying? Where can they get up with you? How can they get a hold of you so they can, um, you know? So man, hit me in. up on hit me up on IG, man. Uh, Mr. G Y E N T number four, man. Uh, inbox me, man. DM me, man. Let's work. Let's work. I work with anybody. Let's do it, man. We gonna knock it out the park. Hit after hit after hit. I ain't miss yet. Bit, bit. So what can we expect from you in the next year? Okay. So within the next year, let's see. I'm in a movie, so we got Brinks uh, Awards coming up. I'm going to be nominated for that. I'm quite sure of that. So, be looking out for that. I'm going to be hitting y'all out to nominate me, man. You know, hey, vote for me so I can get that award. I'm looking to shoot, like, two more videos, man. So, you're going to be pretty busy. You're going to be pretty busy. So, yeah. So, man. So, actor... Rapper turn actor, man. Hey, hey, and I'm working on five minutes of a stand up comedian show. Like, so I'm gonna try oh, my man. hand at that. Yeah, man. Hey, man. I think I'm a pretty funny guy, but hey, we gonna see. Hey, salute to you. We gonna see. Salute to you. You know, it's a uh, it's a comedy club here, ran by Latoya Tanea. Mm hmm. You know about that, the comedy jack? I do not. So check I do out, not. Check out the Comedy Junk. Shout out to Comedy Junk. Okay. You know what I'm okay. Basically like a local comedy club. And I think they got like an open comic mic. Mm. An open mic night. You know. Okay. Where you come to okay. do their thing. So. Okay. Yeah, salute to them. Check yeah. them out. Yeah. So man, back to this acting though. What what kind of character you play? Was it? Okay. So I'm playing a judge. You're playing a judge. Yeah. I'm judging this contest of um, talent around the city. Okay, okay. You know, so, um, dope. yeah, it, it's dope, man. It's dope. Um, had a ball doing it. Um, man, can't wait to do it again. Um, definitely can't wait to see how it turn out. So, hey, I'm just as surprised and waiting on it as everybody else, man. Dope, dope. So, man, I always see you, man. You rocking your own custom gear, man. You always Mr. G-Y-E-T. Yes, yes, yes. Always yes. ghetto youngster E-N-T. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, yes, where, sir. Where, where, where the plug at? Where are you getting your, your clothes? Man, come from? on, man. Come you know on. Come on. Come on. So, so, shout out to my bestie, man. Uh, Minnesota Lock 83 on IG, that's where y'all can go and find whatever y'all need Mr. G-Y-E-N-T, Ghetto Youngsters or Lock Queen yeah. check out the merch man that's, who, that's, the, who, uh, my that's my bestie too man what you said, come on now she come on now, hey, so she doing her thing man dope, dope man, that's what we doing man, we showing a whole lot of love man yeah we do shirts too, but you know what I'm saying, we can plug in another shirt plug, it's all hey, love, it's hey, your hey. Hey, she keep me looking fly at these shows, man. So, hey, salute. Anybody you want to shout out? Mike Production. Mike Productions. You hear me? Don't play. Hey. Tell us about Mike Productions. Hey, man, this guy. This guy, all everything y'all heard. Hey, Mike done put his foot in it. So, hey, I'm, hey, Studio Plug Memphis, they got me. I've been here. I'm here. Like, I'm good. They they got my sound. You know what I mean? And it's easy. You guys are 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 awesome to work with. You see what Thank I'm saying? You, Thank you, man. Like, like, you like what you need, what you want, how you wanna do it. Is this cool? Is that cool? Like, it ain't like press record, do your thing, and then you done. Nah, like y'all actually put in work. Yeah. So, hey, I appreciate it, man. For real, for we, real. We definitely take a passion for what we do, man. Shout out yeah. to Mike, Mike Pro. Yeah, you know hey, hey, hey I need, need a beat, sir. Club, Memphis. I need a beat. And beat. <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up, man. Hook me up, man. Hook me up. So, yeah, y'all y'all need your music recorded, mix and master, beats produced. Man, come holler at me and Mike at Studio Plug Memphis. What you said. And shout out to my daughter, Emerald. Shout out your dog. Hey, baby. That's my motivation. Yeah. I looked at her. I was like, hey, I got to do this because I don't know if it pops. She going to have a life that. So, yeah. Shout out, baby. Daddy love you. You hear me? You the motivation. Let's get it. Come on. This is what we do it for. You hear me? And my son, hey, y'all see him in my life. That boy, no acting classes. 
Killed it. He did that. Killed it. Shout out, son. Love you. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? That's my motivation, man. This is why I do what I do. On top of having fun with, I love this, man. Do I love this? This is crazy. It's like I got this talent to do this. Do I'm gonna have as much fun as possible? As much fun as possible. So, anything else you want to say before we get out of here? Man, stay tuned. I'm coming. Memphis, pay attention. Somebody out there see me. I know y'all watching. Keep watching. But I'll let your boy, man. I need all the help I can get. I'm ready to work with anybody and everybody. Let's do it. Let's go. Underground circuit. Let's get it, man. Let's get out to these shows, too, man. Support these local artists. It's hard out here. But, you know, we grinding, man. We grind. Bitch, I'm on the grind. Rolling through the city. Come on, man. Hey, get on y'all's entertainment. Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. Studio Plug Memphis, man. Let's get it. We living the life, baby. Sure, so, so, man. Japan, man. Hey, so check it. It's beautiful, right? Man. So, man, look. Before we go, you know what I'm saying? You got to spit a little hot 16 for him. You know what I'm saying? What you think a little hot acapella for him? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. We finna, we finna cool, next cool, segment. cool. We about to get out of here, man. But before we go, just tell them one last time where they can where they can find you at. You know what I'm saying? And all that good stuff. All right, bet. So go to Facebook, man. Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. M-R dot G-Y-E-N-T on Facebook or Eddie Jr. That's E-D-D-I-E-J-U-N-I-O-R. Eddie Jr. You can find me at Instagram at Mr. G-Y-E-N-T number four. You can find me on TikTok, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T. Let's get it, man. Look your boy up. Go check and stream that music. And yo, G-Y-A-I. Hey, E-B. Hey, so yeah, that's it, man. So this is Trek Attic with Studio Plug Memphis, and this is was the sit down with Mr. Gynt, man. So y'all go check them out, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you at, Facebook, wherever you at, just type his name in. He there, we there. Studio Plug Memphis. Come on, we about man. to get into this Come hot on, sixteen man. he got for us, man. Let's go. I'm walking with clarity, spit my life through a melody Yeah, I blow plenty trees, but don't let that define Trying to find me, I'm somewhere doing it big with a nice feet From planet Earth to the moon, I'm talking light speed I'm colder than ice B, Mr. G-Y-E-N-T Gas them up and pump them full of that 93 I'm trying to build me a brand and lend a helping hand Without a Facebook, Twitter, or an Instagram See, you can fall for anything if you don't take a stand Cut the middle man out and be the main man The real stood and fought, I watched the fake ran Reach out and grab it and take it like it's your last chance